right, it's time. I got a 2015 Ford F-250 with a 6.7 power stroke. This one had, uh, this one had water getting the fuel. Somebody uh, filled up with some crappy diesel fuel and with that was a bunch of water. So I was able to diagnose that by pulling out the rail pressure sensor for the fuel and it had a bunch of rust built up around it. So we knew immediately that uh, our problem was injector related. So got the whole kit from Ford, which includes all the injectors, the high pressure pump, all lines, everything. Anybody who knows anything about the modern diesels knows that if you get a fuel contamination issue, it's a nightmare and it's extremely expensive. So I've got an opportunity to do one on a pretty much a brand new truck here. So I thought I'd document it for you all. I thought you might like to see it. Uh, but this truck has been sitting for 45 days waiting on the parts. And I'm gonna fire it up now, see if it starts smoothly. And uh, just see how this thing does with bad injectors sitting for 45 days. Oh, still fired up perfectly. As you can see, we've got a check engine light there. And as the engine warms up, this uh, the uh, engine will actually start misfiring on a couple cylinders. And the warmer it gets, the worse the misfire becomes. Right now it's pretty smooth, but like I said, when it warms up, it gets worse. So I'm gonna bring it in the shop and get started. Like a kid on Christmas morning, my parts finally came in right on time as they promised. Got them this evening, so thought I'd just give you an idea of what it looks like here so far. I have the driver's side injectors out, passenger sides are still in there. Super easy to get to, actually. Uh, I got about four hours to this point. It was pretty amazing. I didn't expect it to be this quick, but here we are. As you can see, I've got them out on the driver's side here. So they're all ready for their new injectors. It's good stuff. Got uh, the old ones sitting over here on the toolbox. And that's what they look like. And a bunch of stuff laying on the floor, a bunch of tools out. One of the things that interested me a lot about this engine is the lower part of the intake has to come out before the upper part does. I thought that was pretty interesting actually. I mean the way this engine works, the exhaust gas is flowing up towards the middle versus the intake air being forced down. That's pretty unique actually and I really like that design. It made it so easy to work on. I mean, if you look over here, there is no exhaust manifold on this side. It just leaves you that much more room. So th this really wasn't too bad. I was expecting the worst going into this job and I was pleasantly surprised. But uh, here are all my parts. Man, they put everything in this. This is a whole kit. It's a $4,500 kit. Wholesale price. So you can imagine what this would cost if you get it all at retail pricing. Got a bunch of injectors in there, gobs of fuel lines, all kinds of goodies. Like I said, $4,500 worth of parts, wholesale price. So use your imagination to come up with a retail price on that. So I'm going to continue on. I got to dig the... I gotta dig the injection pump out yet still, but that shouldn't be too bad. Pull the rest of these injectors out. Now hopefully I'll have this puppy running in about maybe, I don't know, maybe another seven, eight hours here. Maybe a little longer, I don't know. But uh, this has been a great experience. It's a lot of fun working on this new stuff. 
very interesting. It's exciting. Anyways, back to work. This is why you don't use diesel fuel contaminated with water in your diesel truck. over $4,500 in parts because a lot of stuff has to be replaced.